Now then guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again. So today me and cameraman, I'd say cameraman, but cameraman's actually stayed at home, he's in bed. I've got told editor here today, Anna. Yes, who's back? Back again. So when me and editor are on the road, we sort of <laughs> we get in trouble a bit, don't we? Because we mix it up. Yeah. And uh, you've said to me that people be messaging in saying to go to this place in well, uh, pa pa Patrington. I can see it sign Patrington. I didn't want to get it wrong because you know what I'm like. What did you tell me last time when I went to Wrexham? What, what did you tell me? It was Puab. Puab. Thai Puab. Yeah, Thai Puab. That's what it was. It's not, it wasn't Thai Puab. So we're going to Patrington and we're going to Cakey Bakey Yum Yum. Yep, you heard me right. Cakey Bakey Yum Yum. What do they do? So this place. Like Danny says, in a place called Patrington, it's a small little village in East Yorkshire. All right. I'm assuming they do You're cakes. sounding better than me. Here. It's a small little village in East Yorkshire. Yeah. Just off the coast. But in Eurasia, small yeah. village in East Yorkshire, Patrington. They um yeah. they do cakes, cakey bakey yum yum. That's what yeah. it's called. Yeah. They do all the savoury stuff, but all the villagers, all the locals, are raving about it. Yeah. I don't know how many people live in this village. What well, about three? About three Sorry. people. <laughs> Me and you. <coughs> right, it says it was here, look, Winestead, Rules, Withensea and Patrington. There's even an Asda. <laughs> well, there's an Asda delivery man. Right, let's go. Let's, oh, do you know something? I've got some stuff on my trousers as well. I was feeding baby this morning before I left and she spat porridge on me. <laughs> Could have got my trousers changed, but I just whipped out at door. Right, cameraman, let's get out of town. Danny's just been saying about the baby spitting porridge, but really what he means is... I rang him this morning and said, look, we're off to the East Coast. He said, I'm just finishing my breakfast at the minute. I said, no, we've got to go now, we ain't got time. And yeah, yeah well, I've got to get my hair sorted out as well. I need an haircut. I think you look good with long hair, mate. Don't be daft, mate. You said that before, yeah. you definitely look good with long hair. No, I won't, I, won't, I won't look good with long hair. What, long hair and perm? Some curls, like yeah. locks, long locks, long golden locks. Goldilocks. You're looking like cameraman. Yeah, I'm all like three bears, I'll put in one. Cameraman ain't got no Goldilocks. He's bald. Cakey Bakey Yum Yum, what a name that is. Cakey Bakey Yum Yum. You don't really get away with having many cakes on this channel as well. No. So I think today it might be an excuse. I know, this is what I mean. Because cameraman's like, Yeah, no, I don't like filming desserts. He don't like it because he knows I eat too much when it comes to desserts. So he's not here. So we're, we're, we're being rebels again. What's budget today? Budget? Yeah. They ain't one. What's balance looking like? It's not looking good to be honest. Yeah, not with this van. It's yeah. to go for service. Private guard. <coughs> I know. You know you've made it when you've got a private guard. Private guard? And why you ain't got a fence around yours? Is yours open to the public like? <laughs> private gardener. Oh right, we said private garden. I'm thinking what you're about. Most people have got a private garden. What's this here? Station, free house. Pub, restaurant, all day food, it looks busy. <laughs> why, why do they call it free house, do you know? Free house? Yeah. Because it's free house to go in, pub, go in. So everything's free in there? No. Don't pay entry fee. I don't want to pay entry fee into a pub anyway. Yeah, but you do if you go to a club, don't you? And, a, and, a, and, a, and bars and that in town, you do. What, even in Barnsley, they, they charge you to get into clubs? The pay you to go into clubs. Because <laughs> I want to go for a boogie on dance floor. Ah. I used to go for a boogie on dance floor. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Can you imagine me like John Travolta in it? Do you know where he is? Yeah, from. Um, I'm just checking. From Greece. Just checking. From where? Greece. Greece lightning. Got myself a key by my big fat burger. Greece lightning, wolf, Greece lightning. You used to have an haircut a bit like John Travolta back in the days. I used to have a cold back. I used to call me back, yeah. I used to have a back. What, with a leather jacket too? Yeah, like leather, I, my leather jacket when I was, what, 17, I used to have one, it was like a trench coat leather jacket, it was leather, it come down to my knees. Sounds, I look like, <laughs> serious though. I look like gangster. So we are looking for cakey, bakey, shaky. Got Amy's there. Right, she's not happy. Cakey, bakey, shaky. The black sheep and dog. They like long uh, titles here, don't they? Frank Hill and Son. Fish and chips. <laughs> Just called fish and chips. Oh, yeah. Cakey, bakey, yum, yum, look. No, it's aching back 
Why? Hey, it looks posh, that camera, man. Someone's next time. Have they? <laughs> it's here, it says khaki. Back, why? Khaki, backy. Oh, I'm gonna go down here, Tim, now, and we're gonna go back. We'll try and get in that little space. Oh, there's a bakery here as well, look. Oh, they're all, they're all uh, Harrington Garage. I know, that's what I mean. Pump row. <laughs> pump. Gotta pump it up. You know what? Pump it up. Gotta pump it up. Oh, pump it up. Gotta bed there. Just drop us. I'll replace it. Look, look, you're stressing me out here, editor. I don't know where we're going. I don't know where we're going. Driving on the road to nowhere. Checking out the bakeries. So they've got like two bakeries inside of each other. And a vet's. They've got vets and then they've got dog shop. Sheep, dog and dog. Is that what you said, isn't it? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> You're losing your mouth. Black you know. sheep and dog. Be alright if you've got a black sheep. You're all black sheep, aren't you? Black sheep yeah. and family. It really might take away from them. Yeah. Oh, look, I don't even know where we're going here. I'm going here, looks at it. We'll go to the butchers and we'll see if he's got a nice bit of lamb. Oh, <coughs> oh, 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 Right, here we go. La Piccolino. La Piccolino, Piccolino. Oh. Right, so we are here in Patrington. We are at Cakey Bakey Yum Yum. Let's go see if it's Yum Yum at Cakey Bakey. Let's go. Right. Oh. Ooh. So it's taking us from Leeds, what, about an hour and an hour and 30 minutes, hasn't it? Something like that to get here. Not a bad drive. You will get out of the road, eh? We're getting up to the country roads. Seaside. <laughs> oh, hey, whoa! Cheers, out. What's going on here? That's another nick out at Bumper. <laughs> I'll tell you something, if we come to sell this, there's that many gouges out to alloys and bumper. Won't be even amount of waiting for scrap. Yeah, bit of time I've done driving it. I'm just clumsy, that's what it is. People that know me will tell you I'm just a bit a bit daft. Right, here we go. Right guys, let's go. Right, here we are guys. We're <laughs> achy back here, yum yum. <laughs> Somebody's nicked all letters falling off. Right, let's go in and see what's happening. Oh, here we go. Oh, that smells nice. Hi, I love you, right? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Well, this smells good in here. This is tucked away on a little side street, isn't it? Yeah. Eh? Right, well, I've been recommended to come down and try out, so definitely been recommended the pork sandwich. Yes, sir. And I'm going to, oh my days, look at these. Oh my god. What do you recommend? What do you. Well, I really like the sausage rolls. Yeah. They are homemade, um, so they are very nice. And the toasties are all done, and there's a beautiful flavours. The pulled pork one's very popular as well. And the chorizo and cheese and beer. Do you know what? I'm quite, oh, I'm like drawn to these as well. And these. These, yeah. these ones are new ones. It's one is chicken. Right. Um, so it's got rocket, chicken, uh, bacon, and mozzarella. And then when it's cooked, we put um, barbecue sauce on it. I'll try one of them then, please. Do you want wedges with it? Uh, no, I'll just have it as it is, please, yeah. And then, can I try one of the sausage rolls? Oh, oh my. Uh, yes, please, love. And, oh my God, look at all this. Can I try some of the lemon Swiss roll cheesecake as well, please? Whatever, I'm going to put a table up outside, so whatever you want to bring them. And then just a glass of water if I can, please, look. It's uh, the lemon cheesecake, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Right, is that everything? That's it, thank you. So I've got barbecue pork, the hunter's chicken, a sausage roll, and a lemon Swiss roll, and a tap water, yeah? Yes, please, love, thank you. That is 24.35. Can I get a receipt as well, please? Yeah, of course you can. Thank you. Thank you very much, love. So I'll just pop a table up outside. That's right. Lovely. Thank you.
Oh, I'll be all right, him. Yeah, he can have a bit of mine. <laughs> Come on, editor. Woo! Right, cameraman, editor. Do you want to go there? Oh, so you get the shopping, editor. Reflection. Don't be scared. You're twin. You're twin. Have you heard yourself? You just know where you're as good looking as me. I'm telling you, cameraman thinks that as well, but. So I'll tell you something, it goes back quite a bit and it's quite busy in here as well. There's quite a few people. So it's tucked away off of a little street. I've got to say, I've been down to Withensea a few times, which isn't far from here. And I didn't know that all this lot were here, to be honest with you. There's quite a few, you know, Gert and Daisy's card cabin. Butchers. Soapy bubbles. But that in there, it reminds me, I've been to a couple of places like this. So we did that, uh, what was that place we did had it? Which sausage rolls? That's it, thug sandwich. And then we did somewhere else at Christmas time, on, on way to... Uh, the kitchen, go. Yeah, that's the one, so you know it all, don't you? We've got a good memory, not like mine. Right, so, reminded me of that, There's, they've got pasties, quiches, the sausage rolls, they've got loads of bakery goods absolutely loads in there, it all looks amazing, it smells amazing as well and then I'm like looking, there's pizzas, there's paninis, oh my days you, you could just, it's one of those places where you could come probably spend an absolute fortune but you don't mind because it's going to be quality gear so this has cost us £24.35 and for that we've got the pulled pork sandwich, right, that's £6.95 we've got the Hunter's chicken sear battered at £8.95 We've got the homemade sausage roll at 3 95 the lemon swiss roll cheesecake at 4 50 tap water zilch <laughs> hey, I've gotten onto it now what must be one of three hours yeah must be one of those three hours so drop it in comments three hours because if i'm honest with you i don't really know i just say it's one of those things that you've seen on pubs all the time I, I think it might be something to do with brewery you know what i mean i think it might be something to do with it's a free house and it might not be thing to a brewery I'm not sure I don't know so if, if you know drop it in comments let us know I, I used to play football when I was that age I used to be like Ronaldo but like he is now you don't fat one <laughs> were, you, were you good at playing football oh yeah I was brilliant at playing football all the way up look there we go. Cheesecake and oh, water. I've got to wait for that I'm going to be here dribbling thank you love Oh, look at that. Oh, I love lemon meat. Any closer, that would have gone straight away on Because <laughs> I've got, I oh, mate, that smells nice. I love lemon. Absolutely. So, like, any dessert that's got lemon in it, I'm on it. Like, I will, I will wait as a kid. Because, like, we go to, uh, <laughs> no worries. I go to, I go to, I go to, you all right, mate? How are you doing? I don't know. I'm just waiting. They fetch me dessert out first, but I'm just waiting. Looks nice inside. Smells amazing. I bet you've got yourself in that, then. Probably. Yeah. People won't know the difference. They'll see yeah. it's just you. They'll think, how's Danny holding a camera? Yeah. As well as that there. They'll, they'll, they'll notice you look like Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, going back, when I was a kid I was a bit weird because I, I'd go to the seaside and they'd be like, you know, back then there were probably only 10 varieties of ice cream. They were not like now where you've got like Kinder Bueno and, you know, Milky Way with Raspberry Apple. It was just like 10, 10 different flavours. And I used to go for lemon sorbet. Loved it. Love lemon sorbet. This is what I'm having for dinner. You can have what's left, but I can probably guarantee there's not going to be none of that left that'll be the thing that I'll finish off I'll be like yeah as I say goodbye I'll be having another slice of cake oh so I'm looking forward sausage roll pork sandwich so sort of price wise like the ex most expensive thing is the sear batter that's coming in at £8.50 £8.50 or 8 95 I'll have to have a look now what did you get inside it? I wasn't paying much attention. Eh? Oh. There's a lot of stuff inside it. I won't pay much attention. I was just drooling, if I'm honest with you. You put me on the spot there. 
I'll, I'll, I'll taste it. <laughs> That's the thing when I come out, you get the real Danny. Yeah, it's Hunter's chicken. It's because you, you blindsided me. 8 It's been hunted from the village of Patrington. Yeah. Here we go, here it is, here it is. There you go. Look at that. Thank you very much, love. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, that smells nice. Oh. Thank you. Cheers, ladies. Thank you. Oh, guys, look at this. This just smells absolutely fabulous. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in with a sausage roll first. As like a little starter snack. Now, this, the aroma coming off this. I can smell it, I can smell Oh, that is, oh my, oh. I'm gonna cut it in half. In fact, I'm just gonna break it. Let's have a look at this, oh my days. Look at that. That is warm. Season. Well, even I can smell that now. It's one season sausage, it looks like stuffing. What, oh, it smells like stuffing as well, I know. It's so strong, man. <laughs> it does, it does, it smells good. Right, let's go. Oh. I need an old tyre, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh wow! Oh my days! That is amazing. So I think it is sausage meat. Whoa! Whoa! Man, my God! Mixed with a sage and onion, that is nice. Soft, moist. The pastry is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it just breaks apart. But the seasoning and flavour in this, it's not like your normal sausage roll with a big just lump of sausage meat in. There's a lot of flavour in there. The paste is staying on the sausage roll. It's not flaking off and going everywhere. Wow. Ooh. Is it spicy? No, it's hot as in like burning sides of my mouth. Which is what you want, isn't it? That I'm is good. I stood a distance from you, I can proper smell that. It is absolutely. That's probably one of the tastiest sausage rolls I've ever had. If I'm honest with you, that's bang on. Right, let's move on to this. So apparently you were saying to me, like, this is one of the recommended things that people are saying, come here and definitely try the pulled pork sandwich. So it comes garnished with a few crisps. <laughs> Ready solid. Sometimes when you've got a pie, it's like a little bit of a roulette, isn't it? Mm. Decent crisp then, you know. Right, I'm going to take a stick out. I'm not too keen on gherkin, but we've got a nice toasted brioche bun, coleslaw, and a barbecue pulled pork. Now that, to me, that's a combination. It's a decent bun, this, you know. That's a combination that screams yum yum <laughs> in the title. Let's go for it. Ooh. Wow. Oh my god. That is absolutely amazing. So you've got, get it all here, you've got a beautiful, tender, sweet pulled pork, alright, in a beautiful gum. What are you laughing at? You want to film that? How about say there she goes? Here we go, get some more. Look at this old made coleslaw. But look at it. Pulled pork. Beautiful barbecue sauce. Lovely old made coleslaw. That 
that coleslaw, because of the creaminess, it dulls down the sweetie tanginess of the barbecue sauce, mellows it out, should I say, and gives it a just a unique flavour. Beautiful crunch with the onion and the cabbage and the carrot mixed with that beautiful sweet barbecue. That is absolutely delicious. The bun, like I said, it's a quality bun. It's holding up. You know, there's not much falling out when I'm picking it up to be honest, because I've been mucking about with it. But it's held up really, really well. That tastes amazing. Wow. So far, so good. I knew this place was going to be good when I saw it. Right, here we go. Oh, let's wet the whistle. Free water. Editor, free water. Free house. Free house. Right. So we've got got the old made coleslaw again. Here it is, look. Nice little pot of the stuff. I love old made coleslaw. I find you know the stuff that you buy from supermarkets. It goes like right watery, doesn't it? And a right funny taste to it. Not bang on. We've got a nice fresh salad. Better try some. Nice and crispy and fresh. As summer approaches, that'll be bang on. Yep. Absolutely. Beautiful. Right. So, where's my. I'm going to go for every napkin. So let's get this up. Nice, beautiful, warm sea batter. So we've got cheese in there, barbecue sauce. Whoa, nice bit of bacon. Nice bit of chicken, bit of rocket. This is, it's a nice, a nice weight to this. Let's cut this in half. And I can bite front middle. Bye, A lot to get through, that's what it is. A lot to get through. I know what we're doing at the other half. <laughs> you can have it. Right, oh, look at that. So you've got your cheese, your bacon, your chicken, barbecue sauce, nice bit of rocket. Let's go. Oh my God. That is like biting into heaven. The bread. Got a nice crust, crusty edge. Nice and soft in there. The bacon, right nice and thick. Cooked to perfection. Nice bit of chicken there. Bit of rocket. That's leaving a beautiful flavour in my mouth. And then with the added bit of the, the barbecue sauce. Oh. That is divine. That is absolutely magical. I've gone for two dishes that have both got barbecue sauce on. It's actually a nice barbecue sauce. Wow, right. Oh, now we're getting to the bit told editor, aren't we? You gotta sing the song though. What song? You nearly choked on that <laughs> What song? What song? The cheese me cheese me baby song. Yeah. What song? Cheers me, cheers me, baby, till I lose control. I cheese me kick it up and I lose control. Is that alright? And I put it in your hole. And I put it in your hole. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, we've got a nice biscuit bottom there. Look at that. Whoa, that does look good. <coughs> Sorry, just cough away. Biscuit bottom. Yeah, it is. It's a biscuit bottom, biscuit base. What are you laughing at? All right, pal. How are you doing? We've got a beautiful cheesecake. Nice lemon drizzle and a bit of cake there. Let's go in for a bit without the cake. Oh, look at that, just comes apart. Oh, there's cake in that bit as well. Oh, <laughs> cake! Whoa. Let's get that in here. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's nice, that, you know. It's holding, isn't it? Yeah. Not for long. Try a bit with cake on, with lemon swirl. Look at that. It's a solid base as well. Sometimes with cheesecakes, as soon as you break into them, they all crumble to bits. Wow. 
nice and creamy, beautiful biscuit base, nice bit of light sponge, but then that lemon running through it, absolutely gorgeous. Everything that I would want from a lemon cheesecake, a bit more. Whoa, whoa. Right. So, let's go through it. We started off with a sausage roll. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful pastry. It holds up well. Encased inside that is a sausage meat with a sage and sage. Sage? <laughs> sage and sesh one. What's wrong? With a sage and onion flavour to it. That is absolutely delightful. Probably one of the best sausage rolls I've ever had. The fact that you can just bite away at it and there's not many crumbs for pastry. Can I ask you though? Yeah. Do you remember what the sausage roll were like from Fug Sandwich and what yeah. would you... That's better than the Fug Sandwich sausage roll. Yeah, yeah. I like that one because I love, I love stuffing when I have a roast dinner. A quarter of my plate stuffing. Yeah. That's what it tastes like to me. It's like a sausage meat stuffing. Absolutely fantastic. So... Whoever come up with this recipe, well done, big well done from me. That tastes grand. Then moved on, the barbecue pulled pork sandwich, homemade coleslaw, crisps on the side, served with a nice brioche bread and a gherkin. Not too bothered about the gherkin, they're not my favourite thing, but the crisps are fine. The sandwich, nice, soft, beautiful brioche bread. It's a quality bread as well. Look at how thick it is. Right, but look at how fluffy it is. How soft. It's been toasted, tastes absolutely wonderful, but the filling of the barbecue pulled pork, absolutely succulent, soft, banging every single taste bud in my mouth. But when you put that with that homemade coleslaw that gives it that crunch and creaminess to it, that is just an absolute winner and I can see why people are saying come down and try it. Then I went for this. <laughs> oh, see your batter. Is it see your batter, see your batter, see your batter, ta absolutely banging nice bit of a, a panini roll with cheese bacon chicken rocket barbecue sauce what Sorry, barbecue sauce <laughs> homemade coleslaw nice little side salad that you know it's summertime when you just want to sit outside have a nice coffee and a nice sandwich that that for me that'd be nice nice bit of like hunter's chicken sandwich beautiful barbecue sauce Nice tender bit of chicken, nice bits of bacon that are cooked well, nice and thick. Bit of rocket in there to give it that bit of pepperiness. But the bread cake, the see about that it's on, it's nice and soft, crispy around the edge, just like you want it to be. For me guys, again, another plate full of delicious food. The lemon swirl cheesecake, oh my days. If you're wanting a sweet treat, what are you doing? Waving at Pete, look at you. Eh? Look at you thinking you'd start at show, editor. He, he had his phone hanging out the window. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> so this, as you can see, look at the cake there, all right? Nice biscuit bottom, a beautiful soft cheesecake filling, bit of swirl cake there with a nice lemon drizzle. That is absolutely delightful, absolutely gorgeous. That gorgeous. I knew you were going to do that. I was hoping. I was, I was thinking there's a chance I could have that little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what did I say to you? The I'm going to have to have a crisp. Man. Yeah, have a crisp. Have a crisp. Right, so guys, if you've been here to uh, cake, what is it? I forgot what it's called. <laughs> well, apparently the sign says cakey yeah. bakey. I was going to say cakey shaky, but it's cakey bakey yum yum. Lemon, lemons dummy in, cakey bakey yum yum. If you've been here, all right, let me know what you think. If you've not been, come down, try it out. If you wanted to come for a coffee and a delicious bit of dinner, I highly recommend it. For me, guys, it's a nice solid 10. It's every taste bud for me. I'll see you next time. Tom Daddy Tip, what a banger. <laughs>